All right, we are live over in the land of Mr. Pip Dirty as well. Uh, oh, perdonez-moi. All right. All right, yeah, we are. Yep, we are definitely live on my channel. All right. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Pip Darty. And uh, I'm sure most of you motherfuckers know this handsome lad on the other side of me right now. Lord knows after two two plus years, well, uh, two going on three, you should know this motherfucker. DJ, why don't you say what's up to everybody at home? Hey, yo, what's up? How's everyone doing? Hope you guys are having a great fucking weekend. Amen to that. It's Friday. Right? Today's Friday, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's just another day to me, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, for <laughs> sure. stuck all day in the house, it's just another day. I, I know that's right. <laughs> I mean, for me, I'm working all weekend, so it's like, eh. It's, it's payday. All right. Cool. All right. Moving along. <laughs> uh, will you do me a huge favor? Uh, will you, you have a... Oh, is that you or is that me? This download screen. Oh, is that me? That would be you, fam. I don't see it. I don't know why I see it right here. I need some sleep. Okay, you're good. Good. You fix it? No, I have it, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. For those of you that are wondering what in the f***ing hell is going on, um, this is a podcast that I try to do. Uh, so far, it's been a weekly thing uh, called Let's Chat, where I like to interview my favorite streamers, a.k.a. my friends here on Twitch. And I said, you know what? I've been with this cat for like two years now, and I really feel like it would be a sin and a half if I did not hold interview. On, hold, on, hold on, really quick. They're complaining about my audio, so I'm wondering. Um, so what? We have double audio. <clears throat> uh, do you have this stream I, open somewhere? I have your stream open, but I don't have any. Hold on, let me see. I've got everything muted on my end. Let me see. You can try again. Hello. Is the audio still going off, guys? Over in uh, Land of the Deej, can you <laughs> can you guys hear an echo? Uh, tell Pip that he's way out of sync. Well, I'm watching Pip's stream, so that's why. So my stream, I guess, from what I'm saying, you guys will see it'll be a little bit delayed. Yes. Unless we just go straight into the Discord call, which we could also do. That 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 is in fact a uh, an option. Would you guys rather just us do that? I mean, option B is what is what I told you. I mean, you we, um, you can just stream my stream and just have your mic and Discord muted to your stream. So they're basically just listening to my stream through yours. Oh, see, so, okay. So I see what you're saying. So I'm basically just muting my mic from uh, from the Discord. No, no. So your mic yes. and Discord yes. get muted from your broadcast stream mix. Okay, hold on. Let me get to that. Uh, um, sampler effects, mixer. No, it's routing. Um, what did you say? You said um, so it would be chat, so the broadcast stream mix, and then what else? The both it. your chat and mic. And my mic. Okay, how about that? <clears throat> First streamer, sir. We're trying. Yep. And then the only the only only thing you want to do is on your headphones, you want to have. Your whatever you have our my stream open as whether it be music or system, you want to have that muted from your headphones because you're going to turn the volume on for my stream. Oh, uh, I know why they were hearing it. They were hearing system. That's why. I had I had everything open on my system, so it was playing like Chrome and stuff like that in the background. That's why. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so now instead of it just being on whatever it is, so keep going. All right, guys. Um. Can 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 somebody let DJ know if the audio is good on his end, and then we can we keep it all moving. Hopefully. <clears throat> all right, should be good. All right, excellent. So, uh, to to recap real quick, uh, welcome to Let's Chat. A most, it's supposed to be once a month, but lately it's been a weekly occurrence podcast where I interview my favorite friends and family here on Twitch. And uh, today we have your boy DJ on the spot dj why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself um i've been streaming for two years uh we started off as uh retro streamers um i kind of want to say i still kind of i want to i'm hanging on to that barely 
but um, we've just been doing a lot more variety now. Uh, I've had a little, you know, ups and downs as far as streaming. I feel like any streamer has, but um, I feel like I'm we're start we're starting to get into our um, our feet into the ground for sure. Now, um, how how long have you been been on Twitch for, DJ? Two years, um, I believe a little bit longer, maybe 25, close to 26, 26 months. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's definitely been a journey, a journey. Hold on really quick. They're saying I'm, God damn it, these guys. Do you have right, the, the volume on for, um, for this stream? They should be fine now. They should be fine. Keep going. Okay. Gotcha. So, um. Yeah, I mean, you and I pretty much started around the, sh uh, the same time. You a little bit before me. Mm -hmm. So, what what got you into streaming in the first place? What was what was your draw to Twitch? Um, I think originally what I wanted to do was uh, was YouTube. I saw a bunch of people just um, the biggest thing was like uh, like news. <clears throat> um was like watching like news things and yeah so technically everything is good thank you Lorath. <laughs> i'm just making sure these fuckers they keep like hey what this is this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong we, we're, i think we're finally okay now um <laughs> it's just because there's a little bit of delay from the from the stream but yeah um <clears throat> um yeah, it was originally YouTube videos that I was watching, and I was just watching people, um, you know, doing gaming news. And I was like, dude, this is this is stuff that I'm reading every day. I'm literally like waking up every day, reading this stuff, reading articles about these things, and these people are just putting this into a digital form for you know people to uh, eat it up. And I wanted to do it, and I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't. I wanted. I wanted to stream stream to YouTube originally. And um, when uh, I finally got somebody that knew computers, <clears throat> um, that's fine. Um, when I finally got somebody that was um, used to uh, used to computers, I had met them actually at a bar, which was weird, and I was talking to him about it. And um, what I was gonna say, I was talking to him about it. And um, what was I going to say? And let me just do something really quick. Um, I was uh, talking to him about it and. Um, and he had let me know that he was a professor at the um, at some community college and that he was doing a um, he was like uh, had degrees in like Premiere and uh, and this and that. And I was actually uh, he was talking about wanting to teach me. <clears throat> so uh, he taught me probably like two or three days off of um, um, uh, during the week. And when I was going to his house, he was like just showing me like here and there. He was already had he already had video. He already had film. I think that's the hardest thing when, when it comes to that stuff is is getting the uh, getting film stuff to work with. Um, and he was teaching me that. And I kind of we kind of started doing like started talking about twitch so we started talking about twitch and we kept talking about twitch and then he was like let's start a YouTube, our twitch channel so i was like let's do it but then when you're working with somebody else your ideas kind of aren't as heard as much because it's everyone's idea you know what i mean right so it's not turns into more of a group project yes unfortunately um so when we were when we were doing everything it was just it, it, we, we slowly drifted drifted apart and i just didn't want to i had a different idea than he had and he thought things were funny than i were than i thought so yeah i mean that's how it originally started and i had got lucky enough to where um i think it was right around taxis no it was right around my birthday i think we had went to go try to um get a computer and i did not get a computer and i was so devastated because i was like this is it i'm doing it blah 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 <clears throat> the fucking bank would not I didn't know that the bank because of the purchase was so high that they blocked the transaction oh no yeah, so I was sitting there and I was just like what's going on like I was just heated and it was my birthday like no please I, I have was, money just take it <laughs> exactly so I, I still ended up thinking we waited like two weeks a week and a half and I was just like I was pissed because oh I know what had originally happened my wife had a friend who was doing their their graphic media stuff, doing photography, doing all their doing all their stuff for the bar, right? And 
he told me, hey, I work at Best Buy. I can get you 50% off on your PC. And I was like, what? I was like, you're lying. He's like, I got you, bro. 50% off. Done. Guess what? Guess what? Done. Guess what didn't happen? <laughs> on Guess what? what didn't ha yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Um, I was, I was, I was very, very upset about it. Um, but we walked up there and he's like, oh, I, I meant I can get you $50 off. I'm like, my man, I was like, I elaborated the percent and you said, what? Like, like <laughs> I couldn't do it. I just, I couldn't. I, so I was mad about that. And, um, yeah, I still ended up getting my PC. Um, and I'm still rocking with the PC. I haven't upgraded it at all in two years. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's I mean, bad. it's been going strong. I mean, for, the, been, for those of you that don't fun. know, D um, DJ and I met through, I guess you could say a mutual friend. Mm. Mutual friend slash stream team slash acquaintance on Twitch. Should be fine. <laughs> and... Um, uh, I mean, DJ and I kind of really started out doing a lot of a lot of collaborative content together. I mean, I can't really think of a game you and I didn't play together. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I mean, I mean, we'll, 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 let's see. We played Overwatch. We played fucking Monster Hunter. We we even hopped on Destiny for a little bit together back in the day. Oh my god. Um, Destiny. I don't know how you guys are doing that, by the way. Uh, it's it's been interesting. It's a, it's a grind. <clears throat> it's definitely it's definitely been a grind. Um, even even not working now, it's just like, dude, do I have do I have time for that? Like, there's, there's do I have time for like two and a half jobs or just one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. well, on top of everything else, I mean, with with streaming, you would you would hope that content creation is just that. It's just okay. I'm just gonna play games. I'm just turning on the uh, the streaming button and and that's it. No, it's not. Come on. Yeah, so so in your in your two year, we'll we'll just call it two years. So in your two years of streaming on Twitch, uh, what what would you say was one of the the hardest things to overcome getting started versus now? Um, uh, I want to say the hardest thing getting started was just getting that. I I think it's any any streamer has the same the same problem is having keeping that mo that momentum of wanting to keep doing it when there's three people watching you or not even that <laughs> there's one person watching you or there's zero people watching you and it's just um it's 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 unfortunate to you know have to endure that but i mean i feel like it's almost an initiation now like you ha you have to like you know what i mean yeah you, you mean um as many people have said, I mean, you gotta you gotta be in it to win it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and it's just, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do stuff while we're doing this. How you good, homie? All right, we're good. I think I'm, I think, I think I'm good. I think we're finally, I think we're finally fucking set. <clears throat> um, so and then compared to now, real, real right? quick, DJ's getting set up for a 24 hour stream that he that this is segueing into immediately afterwards, guys. So just just bear with us while we're setting a few things up, you know, mid interview. Okay, much uh, appreciated. Sh sh should be good though. Um, <laughs> what I was gonna say, um, but compared to compared to now, I think I think now is just trying. I don't want to say get noticed, but I want to say. It's just, it's hard keeping that mom the, the same thing, that momentum. Like you, you, you think, okay, next thing from affiliate, I hit affiliate, I'm going to partner. No, no, <laughs> you know, it's a, that's, it's, that's a, it's, here, a long that's swim. Like... it's a, it's a long <laughs> swim. Yeah. You know what? I'm in Florida and I'm going to Cuba right now. That's, that's basically what's going on. Like, I'm just, I'm swimming against the current. So, um, but, um, yeah, I mean, those are, those are the hardest things right now. I, I don't really see it now that I've been more consistent, like pressing the streaming button. I think it was more, I think it, it was at a point to where it was hard to press the streaming button. But now since I've been doing it and it's like, I've been treating it like a job instead of treating it like a hobby, that uh, that's where I've been succeeding. So what would you say was one of your your pushes what was one of your driving factors into continuing to stream going through all of those you know doubts of like oh fuck i got one person i got three people i got five people in my chat 
Um, I think it was the the people that kept coming and were just uh, consistent about uh, making me a part of their day. <clears throat> so, um, you know, like you, like like Dur, um, Wargoth, Degoth, like you know, this the uh, the homies that would come in here, and it's um, you know, it, it could be it could be. It could be dead. It could be popping. It's it's whatever. But you know, they come in. They still say what's up. They still you know hang out with me and stuff like that. So I think that's still like the driving point till till this day is like it's 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 my boys. Like my boys keep coming in here every day. That's like that's the driving point for me to be honest. For um, I guess just streaming in general because um, especially with the the consistency like i said we've been noticing like some buildups in in numbers and things like that <clears throat> and we i've also been noticing you know newer people coming in here and newer people you know hanging out in here and and being repetitive and and i don't know it's it's really easy to plateau into into this i don't want to say business cuz i don't want to treat it like a business but into this hobby this this lifestyle cuz i i feel like streaming's a lifestyle it's not it's not <laughs> it's not just and that's why a lot of people can't stick around for it because they don't treat it as a lifestyle. They think it's going to be a get rich quick scheme. I'm going to be ninja. I'm going to I'm going to get all these viewers and I'm going to do this and it, that that's not what happens and they end up getting burnt out because they're doing <coughs> 24 hour streams <coughs> um, <laughs> you know trying to pull all these fucking numbers and it's just you you're going to you're going to kill yourself now. Oh yeah, absolutely. My chat at? Absolutely. Now as you know when you when you didn't have say you know the the regular crew coming through and mm -hmm. you you were just kind of starting out and you were still trying to figure out like like who the quote-unquote homies were in, in, you know in your day-to-day -day irl life who would you say was one of your biggest supporters in you streaming uh my wife um she's always been my biggest supporter so she's always told me that i could do it and um you know we always have i always have that support and i always have that um you know, if if I'm not, you know, genuinely believing in myself that day, you know, I always have her to fall back on. And <clears throat> she's a very quick reminder to remind me that I have a, a community that loves me. So she kind of pulls my head out of my ass for me. Yeah, we've um, I, I've definitely at least seen a lot of people, um, you know, being a part of DJ's community over the years, even people that have like flat out vanished off the face of the earth for like months just pop back in randomly and they're just like oh fuck yeah dude i'm not i like i saw dj was live and you know things were crazy for me for a bit but i had to come back and say what's up to d I, the one thing that i've always noticed about you dj is you have a way of even when things are fucking insane like you and back when you and i were gr trying to grind ranked games on overwatch and dumb shit like that <laughs> guess what we're doing after this baby hey i know that's right but um like back when we were like dj and i were just doing these like really high energy like we can barely pay attention to our, our own fucking memory yet alone chat and everything else dj's always had a way to just build a relationship with somebody and despite how he might come off on a regular basis this dude's got a fucking bank vault memory <laughs> i, I shit that. you not no 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 the shit that is actually important uh, for you to develop a relationship with somebody even if it's just a name in a chat you you happen to pick don't worry your head looking fly baby you good <laughs> just, looking. just looking man he's like hold on let me let me flex real quick <laughs> this guy oh man oh man but yeah no that's the that's the one thing that like i've always looked up to with the you know in regards to dj is he's always had a way of building a relationship with somebody instead of it just being Hey, there's that name that always shows up in my chat box. He's like, no, that's a person. That's somebody that's putting their time in in my stream, in my community. And I've watched DJ even recognize it himself over the years. And that's one of the things I always commend him for is he always keeps an eye out for his community. And that's that's one of the re things that I just kind of definitely wanted to fluff his ego about for a second here. Um, <clears throat> On that, it's... I always want to appreciate the people that are, you know, there for me and uh, stuff like that. But you like being being around this this type of lifestyle. You also have to realize who the snakes and the sharks are. You also have to realize who is just trying to talk to you 
just to try to get something out of you. Oop. Whether that be your community, whether that be fucking um, um, somebody else that's in your community, usually it's mostly your community. Usually it's somebody that they see that they that that they are seeing giving you love, whether it be gifted subs, uh, bits, lurking, just hanging out. Just it it, it, it it there's a lot of there's a lot of snakes and sharks out there. So you just got you got to be careful and you gotta you gotta see. I don't want to say test the waters. I don't want to say you want to start testing people, but. Don't, don't trust everybody. Oh, that's that's, that's for God. Sure. <laughs> so, um, what what were some of the games that like you just kind of found yourself just get absolutely lost in? Like you you just didn't have a care in the world, didn't pay attention to chat or nothing. You just zoned out playing while you were streaming. Oh, I was streaming. It's I want to say it's really hard for me now that. As much as I love streaming and it's done a lot of things for me, one of the things that it's that it has not done for me is I feel like I cannot immerse myself in a game anymore. I feel like it's really, really hard for me to to not pay attention to anything else besides the game. But um, Doom, Doom Eternal, recently we just beat <laughs> um, that fucking game, man. It's fucking. I knew, so I knew that's where fun. where he was at. <laughs> It's so much fun, but it's such a pain in the ass. You gotta go man, back so. and check the VOD if you guys miss DJ beating Doom, because that man, I, I, his eyeballs were four feet in front of his head. <laughs> it was, it was great. I have not seen that man enjoy a game so goddamn much in my entire life, and that's saying something. If you've seen half of his Legend of Zelda merch collection. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, Doom was, Doom was really. Um, was one of those games i think it was just because it was just balls to the wall just constantly just boom boom like you didn't have a ch you didn't have a second to like rest you couldn't do anything you were like m m like as soon as, as soon as you wipe something out you would go maybe 10 feet and then like the music would start again and it's like no oh, oh, heavy metal music <laughs> yeah that that music is always what gets me play uh, with playing doom it's just like <laughs> Fuck, why is, why is my chest going 100 miles an hour right now? Why do I literally just want to destroy my entire existence of a life? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the gameplay, the gameplay as well as, well as the, the music, um, I think the music really, really helps it. It's, it's just, it's amazing. Now, prior to Doom, mm -hmm. what were some of your favorite games to stream starting out versus, uh, well, let's just call it year one versus year two of you of you streaming what were some overwatch of your favorite games all day i could stream overwatch all day year one i was like i got it off fucking off uh i'm off console i'm on pc let's go i'm ready to stream this game we're gonna be top 500 fucking grandmaster you know what you know what happened it didn't fucking happen <laughs> we, we tried Ooh, you suck yeah that's yeah. exactly what happened we uh we we tried we tried <laughs> Now, now I, now I like Overwatch is Overwatch is. I feel like, I don't know. It's a love hate relationship for me. It's like it's like an uh, cover your ears, like, wife. It's like it's like an ex girlfriend. Like you want to keep going back to, but it's just like no, no, no. What? See, she's already looking at me. Great. We, we about to watch DJ get scalped live on Twitch. <laughs> 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 also, hi um, wifey. We love you. <laughs> says hi, baby. Um, and tell her the other part. What? Oh, he says he loves you. Yeah, it's, it's right. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to say, but um, year one, I mean, I was kind of, I really feel like I was trying to more find myself as far as my, my gaming identity, because I did a lot more uh, retro things. And I slowly found myself like going away from it, which is kind of sad, but it's dude, retro is hard. I mean, like you either have to emulate it, you have to buy the you have to buy the consoles with which you have to buy the attachments for the Elgato, which you have to like. Uh, like if they and get, frame if they, meisters if, aren't cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Trust me, I've thought about it. <laughs> no, but um, uh, besides Overwatch, uh, I'm trying to try to uh, think of any games that like really like stood out. I want to say I was just doing more like single player linear linear games when it came to year one to where year two i want to focus i focused a little bit more on um on multiplayer a lot more on multiplayer i, I feel like because <clears throat> i'm only i've only been playing tekken for year year and a half maybe 
so it's not like I started off with it and then like we started playing with like I started playing with you and then we started playing with Durr and fucking all that shit, you know. And then that that's a whole nother that's a whole nother story, Tekken. <laughs> That's 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 Tekken has definitely branched a lot of fucking friendships. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I've made more friends on Tekken than I have on Twitch alone. I'm to be honest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, that was one of the things that DJ and I actually started together was that whole Tekken Tuesday thing. That was this motherfucker over here saying, yo, we should make this like a regular thing. So y'all got that motherfucker over there to thank for Tekken Tuesday. <laughs> um i don't know i i think it was just kind of i was i was always into fighting games so you guys have you guys had been talking about tekken and i believe me and dur were me and dur were just sparring each other on um on street fighter and that's what kind of like branched like uh i'm gonna say like you you came from tekken. a big street Fighter. i mean you kick my ass anytime we play street fighter so <laughs> street fighter uh, i I didn't know how bad it was at fighting games until I started playing with you guys. I was casual. I was casual. I thought it was good because I played other casual people or people who were trash at the game. So I was like, oh, I'm good, dude. I'm going to Hadouken and spam the shit out of you, boy. Don't wait, no, wait for it. Wait. Hadouken! Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm going to, I'll do it, bro. Now, if I could be a fucking Guile man, Panic, I would. This motherfucker over here with his goddamn stream deck, I swear to God. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, notice he's not reaching for his Go XLR at all. He's he's not he's not me, guys. He's not. He's got a fancy soundboard over here, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Professioner. <laughs> oh man, yeah, uh, we've. No, but, go ahead. We've we've definitely. I, I I can definitely agree with you there because I mean a lot of the people that have like stuck around and like been between your your channel and my channel. Are, are most of the mostly the Tekken crew like the long-standing friendships that we've genuinely made I mean we hung out with Durr at TwitchCon <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> uh, which by the way Durr I'm never playing you on Tekken 2 <laughs> on an arcade cabinet again oh that was fun that was okay so Durr was I think Durr's besides you uh, you and Durr are the only mods that I've I've had that I've met yeah, and um, Durr was, it was funny meeting Durr. I didn't think, I didn't know what what to think of Durr because I didn't. I mean, I don't know who Durr is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've I've only I've only heard his voice. So like, we're talking about meeting up. So we're talking about meeting up, right? <clears throat> and um, and I was just like, shit, who's this? Who's this guy gonna be? And you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know say what Durr looks like or anything like that. Um, but um. I see him and I'm just like, oh, okay. And then I hear him talking. I'm like, this motherfucker, dude. Like, as soon as I heard him talk, I was just like, oh, oh yes. This this man, <laughs> dude. And he was still as like sarcastic and just fucking pure satire, just fucking just the whole time. And it was just fucking, it was chill. I got to smoke with my boy. Like, you know, I got to. I don't know if you had a. I don't think he, I don't. Did you drink dirt? I'm not sure if dirt drank. I know that we that we drank, we went out, we we had. Well, Dur uh, we Dur drove dinner. to meet us. I think he had maybe like a drink. That's it. If anything. I didn't drink. I had to drive. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Like Dur like drove a couple hours to see us. So I was just like, okay, yeah. Uh, but now we like we hung out. We I think we went to go grab. Uh, we grabbed dinner. I think we smoked. Um, and then um, he hung out with us when we were at the bar, and then um, yeah, and then we went to the arcade bar. And I remember the last, that was the, that was the last thing because that's when you uh, you met uh, Butt Juice that night. Yeah, and we and it was um, just like I had just left. I I think I had just gotten too trash. That's that's what happened. Uh, well, uh, Butt Juice, D Tune, uh, Grizzly Andrew, mad people came through. Yeah, when, dude, when... God damn! I picked the wrong fucking night. <laughs> just... Grizzly gave me like the the biggest fucking non-existent wedgie of my life because he literally hoisted me by my kilt up over his shoulder <laughs> i was like oh, yeah. i don't Spe consent but i'm okay Spe with this speaking of that if we if we hit the sub goal today i found it oh yeah y'all gotta get you get your <laughs> paypals ready this man's this man's putting a skirt on tonight even if i gotta bust out my own paypal all right uh <laughs> yeah, that was that juice. was my that's gift his to name, this man i, I didn't pick his name okay his name is butt juice <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. I'll never forget the day I gave you that kilt too. That was hysterical. He was so freaking happy about it. What can I say, man? I look. I was just trying to. I was just trying to get my man out of his out of his pants. All right. That's that sounds so wrong out of context. <laughs> Jesus. He wanted it to sound like that. Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> hey, you enjoyed wearing that kilt pretty much the damn near the whole night. <laughs> I was drunk. So yeah, I mean you gotta have your, your twig and berry swinging in the breeze, you know. Dude, that thing is so heavy, by the way. How do you wear that every day? That thing literally weighs—it's like five pounds. It's it's like four and a half, but yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. <clears throat> but it's it's so much more freeing than than <laughs> pants because your balls aren't being pressed up against your pelvic bone. You know what I'm saying? What kind of pants are you have you been wearing? Dude, I'm fat, all right? Any pants I wear turn into skinny jeans. <laughs> you put, you try putting two hammocks in a fucking tube, all right? Oh, my God. This yeah. fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so let's 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 talk about TwitchCon a little bit. I mean, you were actually one of the first people ever on this Let's Chat podcast, and we did Let's Chat about TwitchCon. Oh, right after TwitchCon, yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of the people that we did it with were trying to definitely make a name for themselves afterwards. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna touch on that. <laughs> ah, there's the real star of the show. Look at him, Monty. Let me let me get some Montys in the chat. Look at his big old furball. That's that's who makes the stream right there. He's sleeping next to me. No. Yeah, there we go. But, um, so, as far as, like, what, was, did TwitchCon turn out to be anything what you expected it to be? No, <laughs> not at all. Um, I thought I was going to do a lot more networking. I thought I was going to be out there and I was just going to be like, oh, I'm just going to be talking to everyone and here's my card and here's my card and here's my card. And I came to the realization that everyone else had that same fucking idea. <clears throat> Slowly. So I was like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna, I wanna see those cards? When I saw those cards? Bro, are you talking about my cards? Fuck you, Dirk. <laughs> hey, I'm, <clears throat> yeah, I made DJ's one, business Dirk, cards. I, I was like, Pip did my, my business cards. So if you guys are talking poop, you guys can, you guys can talk to Pip about it. Fuck you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, um, yeah, it was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it was, um, there was a lot more partying going on than I thought there was going to be. Will you stop? No kisses. Um, there was a lot more partying uh, going on than I thought there was going to be. And I had no idea what was going on at the uh, the whole partner, the whole partner thing. Will you let me go? <clears throat> I mean, that's a, that's a whole nother story. That, that has nothing to do with us, but, um, you know, that, that whole scandal with the whole partner. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. On, so, yeah. Um, but um, I, I didn't know what to expect. I have never really been to a convention. So, um, yeah. And then, to be honest, me and Squidney walked around the first day on the first floor. And we were like, this is it? This is what the fuck did we pay all this money for? And you were like, the, the next day I was talking to you. And you were like, oh, no, the affiliate, the affiliate station's upstairs. And they, they got booze. And I was like, wait, there's booze? Like, no, let's go now. <laughs> that was literally the first thing we did was went to go fucking get some booze. Uh, so the the reason why I, br I bring that back up, even though we the, we there's a ton of uh, information as far as our experience with TwitchCon on on that episode of Let's Chat, I, I wanted to ask you like so from you streaming and purely just interacting with Twitch streamers on Twitch on their like on our quote unquote our platform versus interacting with Twitch streamers in person, did that have any effect on you and how you approached your content coming back home? Not really. I wasn't really seeing anybody doing anything that was like, that was out there. I kind of felt like it was just like a big like fangirl fest. It was just like, oh, there's, there's, there it is. There it is. There's my favorite streamer. And it's just like, <laughs> let's point at them and there they exist. They, ex you know, it was, I don't know. It's, I don't know, man. It, it was weird for me. Oh, it, it's definitely weird because I mean, like most of, for, for most of us here, I mean, we interact with each other online on a regular basis. So then, you know, getting to see that that person is a, a tangible, I don't want to say object, but like a tangible thing that's in front of them. Like, oh, 
If I wanted to, I could like walk up and shake your hand, high five you, slap your ass. Don't slap their ass. Don't slap oh Twitch streamers' asses. Consent is sexy. Ask first. <laughs> Unless you're me and DJ, in which case I'm gonna just go up and grab DJ's ass, and that's that's gonna oh be all God. there is to that. <laughs> Booze, get out of my way. Yeah, that's basically how DJ and I were. As soon as he was like, "Yo, I want to go get a drink," I'm like, "All right, <laughs> done." <laughs> Pretty much. So, um. <laughs> I mean, in that regard, then, like, who are some of the content creators that that you kind of looked up to that you would you would say were an inspiration to yourself? Now or before? Yes. OK, so before um, I really didn't know who to like, who was like doing bigger things. Um, and when I bring this person up, we kind of had a riff. Um, but we patched everything up and we're cool now. Uh, we're totally cool now. Um, and it's, and it's been awesome. But, uh, Scotty Lightyear, he was doing some, uh, some big things back in the day. Um, and I was, uh, one of his mods, I was always in there. Um, I was always hanging out with my dude and he was, he was, he was killing it, dude. He was, I was definitely looking up to him, um, with the things that he was doing. Um, <laughs> um, what I was going to say, besides Scotty, I really didn't know too many other, like, like bigger streamers i was kind of just dabbling like here and there um with with smaller streamers and i still <clears throat> i, I want to say i know like a lot more mid mid-tier streamers now people that are in like the 20 to 30 average views um anywhere with like you know 50 people watching right now or something like that um some people like now that i'm like super like interested in um duo um M mtl um he uh he's cool he's a guy from canada he does strictly um platinum um, platinum trophies um, for for the PS4. So um, watching him uh, is really really cool. Um, who else? Um, super super pretzel punch. I don't, if you guys don't know super pretzel punch, um, he's doing some really really cool things with um, Adobe After Effects and bringing them to his channel. And he's just very quirky and um, he's he, I don't want to say it's a dry sense of humor because he does have like a good sense of humor, but it's he's i i like the things that he's doing with his with his channel um and anybody else right now i can't really think of that i'm like more like involved with their stream that i'm like i get to watch like on a daily basis or anything like that but um oh hollow's been killing it dude hollow, oh hell yeah looking up to, hollow's been fucking killing it hollow i've been looking up to hollow um for sure um just because um i feel like it's it's like well like the hollow's doing it shit dude like <laughs> like i'm gonna fucking do that shit too like if i'll fucking like you know like i just I, I i fucking i i see her doing it and i just i believe i can too so just because she's i guess part of the community and you know has been around for so long but yeah i mean we I and we also kind of share i don't want to say like similar similar views but like we you and i get along with hollow so well because we have like similar interests similar tastes similar mindsets to a degree i mean and we also have like zero patience for fucking assholes so <laughs> this is true so I, I feel like the three of us are just we have a very easy time for like i won't i don't want to say like grooming our community but getting rid of the bullshit yeah <clears throat> that's that's one thing that i, I really <clears throat> like about about my community and the people that i interact with is there's no drama it's not this person's doing talking to this person and blah 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 and i mean i'm pretty i'm pretty quick to cut people out if they're toxic um and if i don't see it then my fucking mods are and it's fucking beautiful so <laughs> we we say it every let's chat big big fucking shout outs and uh, i'm even i'm even raise a toast to the fucking mods right here yeah mods make the stream i i can't drink anything yet so <laughs> i don't want to start drinking chat don't make me start drinking it's gonna be a bad 24-hour stream it's gonna be a real bad 24-hour stream oh man oh man i will i will take a shot when we put the kilt on though hey i know that's right so you're you're a family man you've got mm -hmm. a gorgeous family wife and kid um, do you personally find that, you know, because you, you had a full-time job before you switched to full-time streaming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's actually on, on several occasions, um, in the time that I've known you. <clears throat> do you find that your, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Do you find that your content shifted at all when you found that you had more time to spend with your family? 
versus oh. when it felt like you had to rush home, start your stream up, and get you know get to work again. Um, I just felt like I didn't have time to do anything when I was working. I mean, especially compared to my last job, I was working ten-hour days, um, and then being in traffic from anywhere from one to two hours. So, um, you know, spending half of my day, um, at least at work or being in traffic, and then coming home and still working on more things like <laughs> schedules and and uh, request off, and then just like a whole bunch of a whole bunch of other. Um, you know, behind the behind the scenes things, um, I once again put my job in front of streaming. And every time I feel like every time I start getting like in a good place when it comes to streaming, I go back to I'm gonna work full time and works <laughs> work as a salary manager. And I mean, you know, they tell you, hey, it's gonna be at at least you know it's not gonna be no more than fifty hours. And then it goes to well, if you work more than 50 hours, every hour that you work after 55 hours will be added to your PTO, paid time off. Okay, so what happened to 50 hours? So right. then I went 50 hours, 55 hours, 60 hours, 70 hours. My last my last uh, week that I was there, I was supposed to be working 85 or 84 hours, including drive time. So, so yeah, it was just, I couldn't do it, man. How? And how did you even, how did you even do it for the time that you did? I did that for seven, eight months, um, opening opening a business, um, you know, co committing my blood, sweat, and tears to it, and coming home, spending a few hours with my family, or even even with myself, and like it was just it was just it was hard, man. I I came home, I watched TV, I was barely a person. I go to sleep and I'd wake back up and I do it all over again, and it just like. It felt like I was never getting because there were some days where I was doing six days a week. Like it was just it was it was crazy. Yeah, you know? it was it was definitely wow. not not really a good. I was genuinely concerned because I had this man literally telling me he would stay up for three or four days straight and then sleep for like two days, like literally wake up, take a shit, go back to bed type deal. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know about, to, I don't know about to that extent, bro. Okay. Just about, dude. You'd text me like, hey, I'm, I've been up for like 45 minutes and I'm fucking exhausted. And I'm like, dude, I, I'm sorry, but this job, it, no, I, I don't think you should anymore. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of things have been like, medical marijuana has definitely helped your boy sleep so much. <laughs> I've had such a hard, uh, hard time with it. Um, insomnia. Um, I would, I think I was averaging maybe like four hours a day. Um, so, and that just, that just eats up on you like over time and you're just, you're snapping at people. You don't, you're not supposed to be snapping at and you're just, you're just, you're just an asshole. Right. All right. So do you find that, cause I mean, you were, you definitely have a work ethic that I will never rival. That's for goddamn sure. Because this, this man stuck it out. I mean, you heard him himself. 80 plus hours a week. Have you found motivating yourself is a lot easier than having like a salary or full-time job and being told you have to do something? Motivating myself is probably one of the hardest things that I have to do. Just because it's not... I'm... I, I'm with a with a regular job i know there is a goal there's an end goal there's a paycheck there is there is a means with streaming it's kind of more you need that self-motivation um and i think a lot of the things that's been helping me recently has been messing around in illustrator and after effects in premiere pro and things like that it's me um increasing my knowledge to what i'm already doing um to where I don't have to be dependent on other people or ask them to do other things for me to where possibly p people are going to start asking me to do things for them. Right. To where I don't want to say it's a side hustle, but at the same time, it's a side hustle to my side hustle. Well, I mean, at this point, Twitch is your main hustle, so. This is true. This is true. And, <clears throat> and I try to, I've been treating it as such. I've been doing, um, I've been doing five days a week. I've been doing anywhere from four to eight hours a stream usually. Um, but I, yeah, I pretty much treat it, treat it as a, as a job, and that's definitely been helping a lot more. Just because I have that. When I was treating it like a hobby, it was kind of like, yeah, I'll get to it. 
yeah i'll get to it now it's like dude wake up get your ass up let's start doing this let's start doing these things like i'm i'm holding myself to deadlines i'm holding myself to goals like i want to have this stuff done and i've been for the most part hitting most of my goals so yeah now how how does that schedule compare to before when it was a, a hobby for you um i think the hardest thing still is getting a <clears throat> getting a set schedule because i see success in the daytime and then i see success in the nighttime i see where um it's a lot easier for me to stream and people come in in the daytime and hang out for a little bit longer compared to the nighttime where people are like uh oh, genuinely you know they're human i'm gonna go to sleep you know and stuff like that which you know i don't blame them um but at the same time at night like, you know, i have people that are night owls i have people that are the same as me and they're looking for something for some type of entertainment and um if i'm able to give that to them you know i fucking I like your boy to. right here <laughs> yeah and i mean that's the thing is like i'm so i'm so used to being like a night owl and i think it just helps with the stuff better in the day i can sleep in the day or i can sleep for for a little bit wake up do everything that i need to do then take a nap and then be good to stream because my kid's going to sleep when i start stream so you know um yeah the responsibilities it's, 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 for the day are like checked off and you know. yeah pretty pretty much pretty much <clears throat> so I, would, I mean, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but um, I mean, one of the kind of recurring themes here um, on Let's Chat is who who are you as a person off stream? That's what a lot of people don't really get to see, except for like you and I as because we're, we're good friends at this point. So so I personally know you outside of stream. But what are some of the things that DJ likes to do off stream? No, I don't really think I'm too, and and that's the thing is like a lot of people, I don't want to say a lot of people, but some people like to have personas on when they when they stream, um, they like to deter themselves from, uh, deter themselves. I'm sorry, um, they they want to get themselves away from like anybody knowing them personally or or anything like that. And I understand with like the whole internet safety, but I want to say like, I'm pretty much the same person off stream that I am on stream, um for for the most part um you know i have a family so their priority um you know taking care of them and doing everything that i need to do for them but um i just necessarily i mean you guys know everything that i like to do i like to play games i like to hang out with my friends i like to fucking i like to dj um i fucking love anime we have fucking anime night every week start fucking showing up fuckers um <laughs> just me and gotcha last time just me and gotcha last time now nah, we gotta we gotta pick a new one. We'll pick a new anime this week, guys. Um, but um, hey, this is know, more like, so for uh, people that aren't watching the stream that might happen to stumble upon this on YouTube later. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, um, it's just you know I co I collect amiibos. I'm a huge fucking uh, Legend of Zelda fan. If anyone fucking knows, I'm a huge fucking Legend of Zelda fan. I, I fucking love that shit. Massive. Um, I'm a huge I'm a huge Nintendo fan. Um, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. Um, in 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 general, but um. You, you can't see it on his camera, but this man literally has a wall of fucking amiibos behind him. Yeah, they're they're that way. Well, okay, so they're they're over they're yonder. But, <laughs> <laughs> but literally, uh, I, I he sent me the photo, and I was like, "Where the fuck did your wall go?" <laughs> oh, yeah. it's just oh, that reminds me, I gotta get some more adhesive for that fucking um the um, goddamn the, the thing that you sent me. Oh, the display, yeah. Yeah, will you hand it to me? Yeah, yeah the, you this no. Pip, Pip got me this. Oh, well, you guys aren't going to be able to see it on chat, but uh, you guys will be able to see it on Pip stream. So, because uh, I have the green screen on. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Zelda's usually green. No. <clears throat> um, yeah, I didn't know. I'm fucking colorblind. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate you. <laughs> I had to. No, but I, but I mean, those are the things that I used that I, that I that I enjoy. Um, for somebody, if you guys didn't know. Um, I might get a little personal right now, uh, just FYI. Um, so, <clears throat> um, a couple of years back, five or six, babe, Knox, five or six for Knox, six. So that's six years ago. Um, <laughs> me and Squidney were uh, pregnant with our second child um, and unfortunately I don't want to really like get into like super things because then I started getting like PTSD and it's really bad um, unfortunately we lost our son um, he was alive for uh, for five days and then he ended up passing away um, 
and uh, we kind of took that um, differently. She, as far as like healing processing is going, she kind of um, put her head down and just worked worked more. And I kind of like, I kind of like, I don't know. I just got super depressed. I got really, really bad um, to the point to where I had social anxiety. Um, it, I couldn't, I couldn't go outside. Um, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't go to the gas station. I couldn't, like, I was, I was afraid to drive. I was afraid to do um, a lot of this stuff, and um, just, just to interact, just to be a normal, a normal person. And um, streaming actually. <clears throat> like pulled me out guys like you have no idea like i wasn't able to keep a job for like for like three years like two three years like it was it was bad i like if i didn't have if i didn't have my wife supporting me i wouldn't have been i wouldn't have been able to still do the things that i'm doing now like i would have been homeless like it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been good um but um you know having my wife there as my rock and and helping me pull me out of everything and finding everybody on on twitch and finding all these great communities and these great people that fucking that are amazing and fucking and and just like it it, it the, the money doesn't matter guys like it's like you coming in here and hanging out with me and asking me about my day and like cheering me up when i'm like depressed and like that stuff like that that's more than like any fucking amount of money like you guys have no idea i'm sorry <laughs> no you're good um, we've had a lot of real guys, moments on stream man you guys you guys have no idea how like how, there's clips of both like, of us bawling our eyes out together on fucking stream <laughs> <laughs> you guys have no idea how like how much you guys have like pulled me out of like dark places and um like it's it's you guys i mean this is this is part of why we're doing the 24-hour stream it's a celebration guys it's not a celebration for me it's a celebration to celebrate you guys because i i couldn't have done this it, it, i'm i i create content that's it I, I i sit here every day i don't i can't make somebody watch me <laughs> I, I i i just appreciate you guys thank you thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i love you i love you guys too thank you <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to give DJ a moment to, to breathe for a sec. Um, but one, one of the other things that I personally know that's that's a huge both m motivator and, and driving factor um, in, in DJ's life is, D as his name implies, he is, a, he is a genuine DJ and he loves his music. So why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about, about your DJ life? Oh, God, DJ. If you guys don't know, um, I do have a, um, let me see if I can pull that up. I do DJ. Um, it was, it has definitely been more of a hobby. Um, whoops, hold on really quick. It's definitely been more of a hobby. Um, in the, in the beginning of when I was doing it, I did a couple of clubs here and there. Um, but I didn't, I, once again, I have a big thing for social anxiety, so large groups, large crowds make me nervous. <laughs> Small so, room full of sweaty, drunk people, probably not the best for, for <laughs> best look much. for you. <laughs> um, but I went ahead and uh, put it in Pip's chat. And oh, hell yeah, check my, that out, guys. Uh, if you guys want to check out any of my music, you guys are more than welcome to. Um, I do a lot more like house, house music, um, R&B, uh, old school hip hop, stuff like that. Um, so if you guys are digging that, if you guys are looking for something to listen to on your guys' way to work, anything like that, you're more you're more than welcome to. Um, I've been doing daily, I, daily. Ooh, that would have been bad. I've been doing monthly mixes. Like daily mixes would be awful. Oh, oh my, my god, god dude, never, you would. I would never. You leave. would go back to not sleeping again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I do monthly mixes. Um, I will be. Uh, this is the last month of uh, or the last day of July today. So I will be coming out within the next two or three days after I recover from the twenty-four hour stream. I will be releasing the uh, the July mix. Uh, Hell so guys yeah. Look out for that. Um, and then make sure you guys are um, following any type of social media. Uh, for the most part, it's just DJ Arrow XX. Um, Twitter, I believe it's DJ underscore Arrow underscore XX. Oh yeah, we we definitely gonna get all this man's socials out here. But <clears throat> so let's see, what else can we talk about? I have a whole list of like. I was wondering, do you are you just coming with this on the top of your head? Oh no 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 no! We have, have a whole like... list of questions. Oh, yeah, it's I'm just a matter sure of. I was like, bro. No no no! Don't dude! I can... Ooh, don't come at me like that. I come prepared for these bitches. <laughs> Ooh, we about to we about to have to go right into Tekken after this. I'm about to whoop this boy's ass. <laughs> this man's. 
No. I'm just I'm lo I'm looking at the questions here because we like you and me we we just go on tangents. So I'm making sure that you know, the questions that were asked between our communities did get answered here. Uh -huh. Um, and it looks like we covered everything that that your crew had to ask. And as as far as me is concerned, I mean one of one of my biggest things that, that I want to know. The biggest thing I want to know about DJ right now. Eight inches. <laughs> This man's all right, motherfucker. Anyways, I'm sorry, I saw the opportunity. He's married. You thirsty thoughts need to back the fuck off and get in line. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I saw the opportunity. Babe. Oh no, you good, you good. DJ, why don't why don't you tell us a little bit about what what you have what you have in mind for for your channel? What do you, what is what is in store for DJ Arrow as a person as a content creator? What are some of the things that you want to improve on? and and get started in in your life right now uh definitely more social media um stuff on social media um i've been doing a pretty decent job from what i was before um if you guys are if you guys have my twitter or anything like that you guys have definitely seen like i've been a lot more active even my instagram it's rose from the dead jesus um been trying to just trying to do that um but mostly just more like more things for social media more things to um, promote the channel besides just twitch because um, I've done pretty much a majority of my networking and and have gotten my my following um, from from twitch just strictly twitch not Twitter not 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 Facebook not Instagram not any of that shit um, yeah I've been I've been just grinding on on here you know it's two hours two, two hours two years of grinding but um i don't know i also see it as a, as an investment as well because i get to meet new new people that you know are changing my life and hopefully i'm doing the same for them yeah and that's that's kind of one of the things that i i've taken from you recently is because uh, i mean like i same thing i let my instagram die for for the longest mm -hmm. time now and I, I i mean i'll post like what maybe once a month to it right now but i kind of took from, from i took a page out of your book and i said you know what let me let me focus on getting this shit right again because I got I got lazy with my streaming. I said, you know what, I'm doing this every day. I'm burnt out. I ain't got time to sit down and fix all these fucking graphics and shit and these stinger transitions. I don't even know how to fucking set those up. I sat down and I said, I need to get this shit right so that if somebody finds my YouTube page, somebody finds my Twitter, my Instagram, I need to make sure when they come to come to my stream, it's looking as fresh as fucking DJs half the time, at least. If not all the time, because no, DJ, what, for real, your stream is always fucking clean. Ever since you you sat down and came back to My full lighting si situation right now is not as, as dude. That's because I came like I came on your shit that's... and I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fuck your whole thing up because we gotta up. do we're, this. We're, we'll fix everything. <laughs> so we're okay. We'll be all right. <laughs> and every you know every the way I see it is everybody looks just kind of raw and like they just rolled out of bed on Let's Chat because it's it's just one of those like hey you don't have any of your filters. I think it's. I think it's discord that's why. yeah discord fucks everything I usually up fucks with i usually fuck with the exposure i'll fuck with the brightness oh, yeah. I'll, I'll mess around with it here and there so yeah but, if you're um, a nine on twitch you're like a two on discord that's just yeah, that's the way discord bad. that's the way discord just shreds your whole shit man i think um, i'm wearing a hat right now <laughs> a lot of that though a lot of that like for crispy like a, a crispy stream i mean i want to say um just upgrading the things that i needed to like the go xlr mixer i hated this motherfucking thing i hated this thing i hated on it so fucking this much man ragged like, on me for days fucking plastic piece of shit what is this gonna do what are you gonna do for me it's amazing i fucking love it i fucking love you i'm just saying man <laughs> it's fucking amazing like it's, it's... i tried i tried to tell this man and it took somebody that's a little bit closer to his neck of the woods that he considers an irl friend unlike this guy over here to tell him yo you need to go buy this and then he snap he snap bought it i was like what am i chopped liver i've been using this thing for like two years and i'm telling you, you know this shit legit i just thought about it is my desk and my mixer is just both of those together thousand dollars yeah it's it's fucking stupid not that you guys at home have to do that to have an amazing you stream don't. i don't. know people that you stream don't. from basically a fucking toaster so like <laughs> carry the one okay that makes sense again the toaster <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean gear definitely makes it makes the job easier But why don't you tell us some of the jankier things you've you've done for your stream setup over the years? Oh god from fucking 
HDMI cables fucking okay so I guess I have I have display ports for most of my most of my monitors and I've had display port cables and I, I didn't know I forgot and five levels came over a couple of weeks ago to come help your boy out that's, that's who I was also going to me mention for my uh, crispy streams five levels definitely help your boy out as far as um, uh, camera um, messing with my camera uh, exposure, even though I have some like C920s, I have two C uh, uh, C920s. And the goal is to get a uh, Sony A fucking A5. Um, I believe he's, I think he told me A5 or A6. I don't know those things are those things are a little expensive, so we're gonna we're gonna have to wait. Um, but yeah, he helped me he helped me figure all that stuff out. Um, audio wise, he made me sound really really clean audio wise. Oh yeah. So, um, really really just appreciative of that. Um, and then it's just nice having my friends to go to whenever I have questions about things that I want to do to improve the to improve the stream. Right now, it's just I want to say sound wise we're good mic wise i'm fine i don't need a new mic I'm, I'm, i mean you I'm, and me are literally I'm, rocking I'm, the same I'm, setup so <laughs> do you have the 2035 yeah yeah yeah, 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 with the same setup, yeah, yeah. 2035 we have the same mic arm we have the same go xlr yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um but uh but yeah um you know that's been helping and then uh, just having good equipment and then just having um the knowledge to uh back that equipment up and try to do things that are that are a little bit different uh, for the for the most part, yeah. yeah. I mean, like you said, you haven't touched your computer. You haven't really done any major upgrades. I barely cleaned it when five levels came over for the first time in two years. So, yeah, yeah, and I... so I mean that that's a testament alone to some of you guys that are saying like, oh, I can't afford to stream. You uh, you can really get by with a lot less than you think. I'm running a GTX 1070. Um, I think it's. I forget how many gigs it is. I think it's six. Um, and then um, a um, Ryzen, uh, eight, wait, a Ryzen 7, 1700X. Mm -hmm. So it's not like top of the line. It's pretty pretty stock. I'm running a stock fan. Like there's, it's not, I, I don't even know what the fuck to, what to, what to say. <laughs> shit, it's, it's not, it's not, it's kind of potato shit now that I'm saying it. But I mean, I haven't personally seen a game you, you've tried to stream that's like, nope, ain't gonna happen. Uh, Sekiro, Assassin's Creed, fucking uh, Odyssey, um, okay, okay. Dying Light, uh, Dead by Daylight, but that game just doesn't want to work for fucking anybody. So Dead okay. by Daylight is just weird, so we can cross yeah, that off. I'm specifically, if I hit, if I hit a specific sub goal, 69 subs, I'm playing Dead by Daylight for my boy Lorgoth because I know how much he loves the game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dead, Dead by Daylight can be a little fucky um, on on certain computers, in my in my experience at least. And dude, it even crashes on mine, and I'm running a fucking 3900x. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just, just weird. That game is buggy as fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, like, not, it's not good. Like like Ear just said in chat on on high end machines, it turns into a pile of poo. Ex my sentiments exactly. So on, on my <laughs> fucking ridiculous ass overkill CPU, it's just like nope, too good. Uh. But, um, God, I, I feel like I need to join you on that DVD stream because I feel like it'd be hilarious. Oh, I was joking, but we can if you want. Yeah. I feel like it'd no, be I'm hilarious. Be, I, to be honest, I have no idea after what we're going to do after fighting games because tonight is, it's, it's technically, it's, it's, it's fight night Fridays. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be Tekken, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Smash, but Smash I haven't really been feeling lately, so kind of threw that out there. But uh, that uh, code's kind of hot, Garbo. <laughs> I mean, we can we can move to the real fucking the real fighting game, guys. Them fighting hurts. Let's go. We, we you could. Know what I mean. We could. But anyways, um, I definitely think that we've we've covered a lot of the questions, DJ. It's honestly, it's an honor to have you back on Let's Chat. Um, and I, I really appreciate the time that you've taken in your 24 hour stream to to let us kick it off and and start the process for you. Um, I definitely am going to be with you for the rest of the night as much as possible. For those of you watching at U uh, on YouTube, I'm going to have all of DJ's social medias down in the description. DJ, why don't you take a moment and plug your own shit and let us know where to find you, when we can find you, and what we can find you doing. All right, guys, um, I am streaming uh, usually uh, Wednesday through Sundays, uh, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, if I usually miss a stream, I will make up for that on Monday or Tuesday. Um, besides that, uh, you guys can find me on Twitter, uh, DJ Arrow XX. Um, like I said, it's going to be DJ Arrow underscore Arrow underscore XX. That sounds like a whole mouthful. Um, 
and then same thing on instagram um it's just tjroxx um that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i got i appreciate you guys uh listening hanging out and we just started we are on we still have 23 hours and and don't forget guys for for every 50 for every 50 subs we add an extra hour wifey hasn't heard that yet she's just looking at me now in that face <laughs> i can see it in my peripherals i'm gonna die okay last 24 hours to live Woo-hoo-hoo. see look 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 <laughs> All right. right. So thank you all for watching uh, this episode of Let's Chat. DJ and I are still going to be live on Twitch after this. So for those of you watching on YouTube, may the gods be with you all. Skull. Skull. Oh, real quick, I just wanted to show, for those of you that are wondering what the fuck's going on with our backdrop, I'm going to turn off the display capture for this video call real quick and let you see the glory that is the meme that came from DJ and I's love as as co-content creators. Oh, God. All right, we'll see you guys live on Twitch. (laughs) Later, brother.